Hey, hi everybody. I just want to give you a quick update on where I am with Space Arena. Um, if you saw the last video, you'll know that I was having some performance issues and was able to track that down to the right module, uh, in the in the, the right method in the turtle module. So I had to get rid of that, but figure out how to get text on the screen. So let's take a look at what I got. Okay, so I've added a splash screen. And I'll add a little bit more to that later. I like this, this drawing effect personally. Uh, it also sits here and waits until you press S uh, to begin. And just as a reminder, I got a little frames per second meter here going uh, for testing purposes. So I'm gonna press S, takes us right into the game. You can see some of the enemies are trying to track me. Uh, the, red, the red boxes are trying to track their hunters. And you can see I added a little bit of exhaust here. So when I accelerate, it shoots out a little bit of exhaust. I like that effect. Um, but notice again, I, I wanted to point out that I, I did keep it fairly consistent with physics. So if I'm going this way, notice how you know it behaves as if it exhausts and then it comes back at me because I'm still moving in that same direction. I thought that was kind of an interesting effect. Although there is resistance there, I gotta figure that one out. But anyway, the other thing I, I want to talk about here is the text. So because the turtle write method does not work effectively, it's, it slows it down unacceptably. I ended up designing my own font and draw, literally drawing this line for line. So actually drawing this line for line is 10, that is like 10 times faster than actually uh, using the turtle write method, which, which fascinates me. So you can see there's very little flicker, actually there's no flicker. Um, yeah, there's, there's 25 enemies, there's five power ups, there's background stars, there's a lot going on and my frames per second are still up around in the 30s. So I'm quite happy with that. So let me uh, just get, show you real quick, a little quick preview of the code for those of you interested. And you can see here, I actually created my own character pen class, I called it. And I had to figure out the coordinates for each character. So for example, a one starts minus five plus 10. So I have like a basically a, a 10 by 20 box. Then it goes over to the middle, zero, 10 comes down zero one, goes over for the bottom, and then comes back over. So I sat down, I did the coordinates for every single character that I use in the game at least. I haven't added everything, of course. And now the only problem with that is I don't have a way to pick up the pen. Um, it has to be something that you can put down and leave it up. So things like colons and semicolons, I haven't sorted out yet, but I have an idea uh, in my mind. And so that's kind of the big, the big changes. That and again, the uh, the splash screen where you actually have to press S to start. And so you can see I made my own class and I called it character pen and I have a method called draw string and I sent the pen, the, the turtle object, uh, press S to start whatever text I want and it actually centers it for you. And then you tell it you want it centered at zero, in this case zero, negative 100 and it does that. So let's watch that one more time. And I like this because it actually draws it really slowly and you can see it drawing. I like that effect, it's very old school. And then now you can see over here, I'll, I'll shoot somebody and see how the score goes up. But what's really cool is there's no, oops, there's no, uh, how do you put it? There's no flickering at all. So it fascinates me that draw, it's literally drawing each of this line by line 30 times a second. And it's way faster than just using the, the, the turtle write method. So uh, yeah, something interesting, uh, really surprised me. That, that was that was the case so anyway it's coming along um, basically I mean game mechanic wise there's a couple little bugs here and there but everything's working about how I expect it so or I envisioned it I should say oh the other thing I added I forgot to mention is there I don't know if you can tell here but there's actually a camera so the game no longer tracks the player directly it there's actually a camera that follows the player around and if I hit the C button the C you can see where the, the camera is, that little red triangle. Um, so it, tra it tracks fairly closely to where the player is. So the player gets too far away, it snaps back, and you can see, oops, and you can see how it gets pretty close to where the player is. It never gets quite there, but it's about where the player is. So I, I like that effect. It gives you a little bit of a, a more realistic view. And I, I like that lag. And yeah, if you noticed when it died, when the player died, it snaps all the way back to the center, which I think is a cool effect. So let's, and so you can see how the, the camera 
stacked back. So that was something else I added, which I thought was pretty cool. So anyway, uh, next up, I guess I'm just going to start kind of polishing the game, setting up levels, make some new types of enemies, uh, do stuff with the graphics, and oh, sound, i got to add sound. And I think it's getting to be pretty much, getting close to being done. Of course, the 80-20 rule, um, the first 80%, what, the first 80% takes uh, 80% of the time. The last 20% takes 80% of the time. So we'll see how things go. Stay tuned for more.